Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about account types. So, we started this series. Uh, we talked about the, choosing the right platform, the right broker to be able to day trade or even do some string trading. Uh, so, we covered that. So, the next step is once you've decided which broker you want to go with, what account type should you open? Because you have the option of opening a cash account or a margin account. So which one should you uh, choose? So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, guys, I did a video talking about uh, how to choose the right uh, platform or the right broker for day trading or swing trading or just investing. So if you didn't watch that video, I'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. Um, today, would, now that you have your, your the broker, now which account type should you open? So again, in Weibo, um, that, and that's the platform I'm going to use here as an example. So I want you to do some research on the platform that you of choice that you have if it's not Weibo. My example here is specifically centered around Weibo. So just a point of caution there. So in Weibo, when you open an account, you have the option of deciding if you want a cash account or a margin account. And I'm going to, I'm going to explain uh, the two accounts, uh, the differences and why, uh, which one is better based on your situation. So we're going to talk about that. But before I even jump into that, um, again, I want you to go to um, Investopedia. So right here, um, just read what a margin account is because I want you to have that context. Read and understand uh, what a margin account is, how it works. I'm going to explain it, but I want you to also read it and get that in-depth knowledge. Also, read what a cash account is. Read what it does and how it works. Just, just that way you are not just hearing from me, but also getting some other perspective. But the bottom line is um, that cash account, a margin account gives you two uh, different opportunities in the market depending on your specific uh, trading style or what you're looking to accomplish. Again, guys, like I said, uh, my focus is going to be on Weibo. So I'm using the Weibo platform for day trading. So if you um, are using Weibo, then this is going to go straight. You don't have to do any more research. But if you're doing some other platforms, I want you to research those platforms and make sure that you understand uh, the options that they provide as far as a cash account um, and imagine account. So again, uh, on, on the Weibo platform, as you open your account, it says cash or margin. So Here's the basics, and, and I always try to tell people, if you have under $25,000, my personal opinion, I would say open a cash account. And the reason why you open a cash account for with under $25,000 to trade is because with a cash account, you get unlimited trade. But there is a little catch here. Uh, the catch here is that once you trade, your money has to settle uh, it takes two business days for the money to settle before you can use it. And I've talked about this here on the channel, and I'm going to still bring this up again. Uh, once you, you have under $25,000, let's just say you have $3,000. That's your budget to start trading with. So you can split that up into two parts. So and again, it's a mental split because I've actually had people ask me, like, hey, where do I split the money and put it? I said, like, you don't split it and put it somewhere. It stays in your account. You see $3,000 as your buying power, but you mentally split it and say, hey, every day I'm going to trade with $1,500. So that way, every single day you have $1,500 to trade and you build your account until you get over $25,000. You can convert that account to a margin account. So that would be my personal take. So if, but if you have over $25,000, then you definitely want a margin account because with a margin account with over $25,000, you get unlimited trades. So you can trade as much as you want. But if you have a margin account with under $25,000, and again, I'm going to stress this out. If you have a margin account with under $25,000, you get three day trade and the five business day cycle. So it means that you can buy a stock and sell it, buy another stock and sell it, and buy another stock and sell it. So you've used your three day trade. If you do that in one day, you've used a three day trade, and so you have to wait five business days for that to recycle before you can get another three day trade. And I don't think anybody that wants to day trade when you want to be in that situation where you see opportunities you can't trade, 
because you don't have your day trades left. You've used them all. So that's why I would push you towards a cash account so that you can trade uh, continuously again, but you have to do that mental split of splitting your budget or your buying power into um, into half so that you can use one today uh, and then use the other one tomorrow. And by the time you get to the other, you get to two days later, what you, you sold today has already settled and you can use that. Uh, but the other thing that you can do in the game, which I'm going to cover here in this series is if you trade options, your money settles the very next day. So that's something that you want to consider. And I'm going to cover uh, my strategy for trading options here because that's something that I've actually added to um, my whole uh, suite of tools that I use for making my 250 a day. So option is one of the, and I'm going to share that uh, with you guys here on the channel. So now that you have decided that, hey, you want a cash account based on the amount of money that you have, then you can go ahead and open that cash account. But if you decide you want to go with a margin account, the advantages of having a margin, a margin account is that you can actually leverage margin. So when you have a margin account, you would see that you have two buying powers. You have your, your day, uh, day trade buying power and then you have your overnight buying power. And so if you have an overnight buying power, you probably see, let's say you have $25,000 in your account, you will see that your day trade buying power will probably be like uh, maybe $50,000, that's double. Uh, for your for your for your margin, and then your overnight will probably be like forty or thirty five. Uh, so they give you. It depends again on the particular stock. Some stocks have uh, different leverages that you can have. Some are two x, some are three x, some are just one x. So you definitely want to do some research to understand that. And again, guys, using leverage simply means that you're borrowing money to buy stocks to pay with to pay with interest. And again, if you buy that stock and hold it and the price drops, you, you might be in trouble if you sell it at that point. So basically leverage means that you're borrowing money to buy stocks, which in my opinion, unless you really understand what you're doing and you see a very, very great opportunity, I would discourage you from doing that. But again, I've seen a lot of people use leverage smartly and make a lot of money. So do some research and make sure that you understand before you jump into using uh, uh, margin again if you have a margin account so that's what I wanted to cover in this video guys and again let me do a quick recap here this particular video again it's a continuation we talked about you choosing the right platform when you choose the right platform the next step is for you to open your account uh, and what kind of account would you open it could either be a, a cash account or a margin account and again if you have under $25,000 my suggestion is that you open a cash account. If you have over $25,000, then you open a margin account. And, and the reason is because with under $25,000 with our, a margin account, you only get three day trade in a five business day cycle. So it limits your ability to trade. But with the, with the cash account, if you have under $25,000, you have unlimited trades but you have to wait for your money to set up. And I told you guys that there's a walk around that you could do there to walk around uh, by splitting your money into two and using part of it today and then part of it tomorrow and then give uh, tomorrow would be the day that the money that you used today will set up so you can use it the, the day after. So um, I hope that's kind of helpful. So that's what I wanted to cover in today's video. Again, let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys think. What kind of account do you currently have if you already are trading? Do you have a cash account? Do you have a margin account? Do you leverage margin in your margin account if you do have a, a margin account? Again, let me know in the comment section. And, and I'm going to continue to put this series out. I'll put all these basics out all the way to the indicator, setting up everything, and then I'll take an example and walk through and do a really long video with everything as a package so that way you can have that recap to go through and watch again. So that's what I wanted to share in today's video. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get some free stocks at no cost to you. I'll put the links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.